of Hester. It be too late to alter course, matey. Hey guys, this is Connor from Rock Pirates RC. Today we have the Axial Adventure um, new Jeep SCX 10.3 CJ7 here. So today we're going to be putting um, front and rear Rock Pirates RC shock towers on it with the built-in pan hard mount. And then also we're going to be putting on rear towers on this. Um, so... And then we're also going to be uh, trimming these stock inner fenders around the front and rear towers so you can still keep that uh, scale look that you guys want with this thing. So, um, yeah, so let's pop the body off this thing and get into that. So what we're going to end up doing first is we're going to take off the front and rear fenders on this, the inner fenders, and then we're going to um we'll install the front shock towers first what these shock towers are going to do for us is they're going to lower um they'll give you the adjustability to lower the jeep and get that lower center of gravity uh some people like these things with it, some lift to them especially on their scale vehicles but over here at rock pirates we like to even on scale vehicles we like to have a little bit of performance in them so we're going to throw these towers on here, drop the center of gravity on this thing a little bit. And uh, so, yeah, let's hop right into it. All right, guys. So what we're going to do first is we're going to uh, take this fender off, the both the front fenders. So we're going to take out this screw. And then we're also going to take out this screw. So I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to pop those out, get both these front fenders off. Okay, guys, we got the front inner fenders taken off. And then uh, also I ended up taking the motor cover off and the brace that is behind it and the front of the motor cover. So we have the, the top of the motor cover right here. This is the brace that mounts to the back of that. Uh, we will not be reusing this. You could put that off to the side. Um, also, I took uh, this off and the motor cover off just to kind of streamline things and um, give us some space in here. So uh, next, we're going to be taking off the un we're going to be unscrewing the front shocks at the just the top of them. So we're going to take out these screws, and then we're going to pop out both of the uh, passenger side shock tower screws, and then we'll come over to the driver's side. Same thing, pop the shock screw out, and then uh, both of the there's three um, screw positions on the driver's side front shock tower. So we'll take out this screw and this one and this screw right here and then uh once we do and then once we do that we will take out the pan hard mount screw and this whole tower will come out so i'm gonna do that off camera so you guys don't have to listen to my electric screwdriver and we'll be back in a second we're back we got the new shock towers on so we put this one this shock tower back on driver's side and uh so it's just two screws to mount this two screws to mount the other one and then your screw that mounts your pan hard bar. And then uh, we put new screws with nylock nuts on the back for the shock mounts. Get to focus there. So um, for those replacement screws for these button heads, um, we're using M3 by 10 millimeter screws. And then for the shock mount screws, we're using M3 by 20 millimeter screws with an M3 nylock nut on the back so these went together super easy i figured i'd save you guys the you guys don't have to get a headache using me watching me use an electric screwdriver so um yeah super simple pop these on um i will not be putting the motor cover back on or the the top or the front motor cover um because when you throw these towers on you will lose the brace mounting point that's on the back of the shock stock shock tower so if you're not looking to lose that if you still want that scale look on the inside of your truck just keep that in mind um and then for now i just have the shocks mounted in this location right here you guys can move them wherever you want but right now we got really good 
up travel. It's kind of hard to show you guys with one hand, but good up travel and then still got good down travel. So that's how we're looking in the front right now. So now I'm gonna get the stock um, inner, inner fenders and I'm gonna trim these up and get these mounted back on the truck so we can maintain our scale look from the outside of the truck still. All right guys, I just got our fenders trimmed up, uh, our driver's side. So just uh, cut a little bit off right there. You could see, took some off right there. It's just some minor trimming. And then uh, put some servo tape right here so that'll hold us up against in between the shock tower and the servo. And then I trimmed a little bit off the bottom right there. So um, I'll stick this on real quick and then I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, guys, I just got the body put back on, got the fender mounted in there. Super easy, just pinched in between the tower and the servo with that servo tape. So got it all in there now, retains that awesome look, a nice scale look for the CJ. You can see your tower up in there, it looks super nice and clean. And I'll pop the body off. So yeah, it just, right there, I just put a little bit of servo tape in there and uh, pinched it in between the tower and the servo. And yeah, came out super clean, looks awesome. So um, I'll do the other side right now and I'll show you guys how that looks and then I'll get on to doing the rear shock towers. All right guys, we got the Rock Pirates rear shock towers on now. Got the shocks positioned roughly where I want them. You guys can put them wherever you like, that's where I want them. Um, so, and then also I ended up cutting the rear fender already to make that fit. So we just cut a little section out of the back right there. Um, everything else is good. Just need to cut that front section right here to get that to fit in. So, uh, goes on super nice now. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. Give me a second. Let me just pop that on this side. Get that right there. So yeah, perfect. Just like OEM, super nice. Gonna use the same mounting hole still. Got a tab right there, and you got a tab up in there. So it still slips, nice fits right in there. Got a little bit of your front tower sticking out of the front of it. So yeah, came out super clean. You could probably even cut a little less off of this edge right here than I did. I cut a little bit too much, but it's fine. Um, I ended up right here, I marked the, right here where you guys, this is the section I cut out, so you guys can either follow this, or just try something out for yourself. I just used, um, a Dremel, um, this, I just used this to notch right here for the shock, so that the shock wouldn't hit on it, I just notched it out a little bit, and then I used just a... It wasn't broken when I started using it. I bro just broke it. But um, use just a um, cutter, cutting wheel, sorry, to uh, to cut out this, this entire section. You don't have to do that. If you can get a little slit started on one of the edges, this stuff's pretty pretty thin. So you can cut it with Lexan scissors or you can use an X-Acto knife. Either way will work. Uh, I just use the Dremel to make it a little bit faster. So yeah, came out super clean. So I'm gonna screw this one in and then I'm gonna cut the other one and mount the other one up. And then we'll uh, pop the body on and see how it looks. So there we go, guys. We got the Jeep back together now. Got the body it put on. I didn't throw the body pins in, but it's it's sitting on there right now. And uh, yeah, came out super good. It's sitting a lot lower now. Still got the awesome inner fender wells in there. So it still looks super nice, super scale. There's some wheels in this and we'll have to post some pictures online when it's done with new wheels and tires and stuff. And uh, yeah, came out really good. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope this helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions or anything, just hit us up in the comments or shoot us an email at rockpiratesrc at gmail.com. And um, yeah, thanks guys. We'll see you guys on the next one.